today's project is to construct a mounting platform for a quite large solar panel. It's, I believe it's a 42 inch solar panel. So I had to create a mounting bracket for it and then attach it to the shed. Here's the latest solar panel project. Recently bought this 15 watt panel off of Amazon. It was one of their gold box deals and uh, it was only $69. Normally it was like $120, $130, but the gold box price was $69 and that included free shipping. Because it's pretty heavy and it was packed really well. I was really, really impressed at the packing. Anyway, what I've done is I've created some attachments that the uh, solar panel screws into that will be positioned on top of my shed in the back of my yard. I have these hooks here. We'll see later. I have these straps that are going to go over one side of the roof and it's going to attach to here and then I have other straps that will attach here that will attach it to the bottom side of the roof. It's a, uh, the shed that I have is a Rubbermaid shed. It's one of the large, I believe it was called Big Max, so it's got a plastic roof. I didn't want to drill any holes on the roof so I had to make some kind of a standoff type of platform that I could anchor and I think this will work really well and I painted it black just to kind of keep it all looking the same. Okay let's go mount this sucker. Well, here we are with the solar panel mounted on top of my shed. The straps going across the top. I'll show you that in a sec. But then they're attached down here to the bottom of the shed. These rubber bungee cords. Should keep it keep it in place even in high winds. This is uh, the solar panel is weatherproof, so it can withstand the uh, elements. Let's see if it can withstand hail. It's it should. It's it's pretty solid. I do think I might end up having to reinforce the center there. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, we're gonna go around back. You see the straps coming over the other side. Okay, here's what it looks like on this side. Not much to see. It's just these strap down on the side. goes over. Keep an eye on that too. So it looks like it's starting to wear or weather. Okay, let's walk around and see what the, the whole thing looks like. So I think it looks pretty good. Good amount of sunlight. Yeah, it's a uh, 15 water. It's, it generates one amp hour. Okay, I've got it running into the shed cable, power cable running into the shed, and let's go see what gets hooked up on the inside. Here I'm in the shed, I've hooked up a voltmeter to the solar panel, and the cable's coming through right up there, and it's showing 22.5 volts, which is good, that's about what I would figure. These things generally go anywhere from 12 to 24 volts, so that's a good, good voltage. Okay. 
let's add our uh, power source that we're going to be charging up, or our power adapter we're going to be charging up. One of the things I like about these solar panels, I'm not sure if it's an industry standard or what, but they have these consistent connectors with different adapters. This one is a barrel adapter that I can plug into this X power power pack and charge it. It comes with uh, very uh, different ones come with different attachments. I mean, some of them have cigarette lighters, uh, alligator clips. You saw those just a second ago with the voltmeter. Um, this is very useful for this type of thing because it can plug in right over here. So the barrel connector plugs in right here where the AC plug would have gone. So let's just kind of put this stuff all out of the way. Set that guy back up there. And you can see that the charging LED is lit. So it's, it's charging. This one was dead, by the way. I, I discharged it, um, charging up some other things. This thing is really cool because it has the uh, 110 AC inverter. So you can plug, you know, different AC devices into it. And has the output for the 12 volt DC, any type of cigarette lighter thing, like to charge up your cell phone or your MP3 player or anything like that. And this, this little thing has a neat light. It's, uh, I guess, for emergencies. It has a, has a flashlight. But it also has jumper cables, so you can use that. You can use the same device to jump your car. Never actually used it for that, but I guess you could. So she's charging. It's in the shed. It's out of the elements. It's nice and dry in here. I expect it to take a, at least a day to charge that. Even with the AC um, adapter, it takes overnight to charge something like this. So I'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how long it takes to charge it with the solar power. As I mentioned earlier, this is the Rubbermaid Big Max shed. I've actually had this particular shed for at least seven years. We actually brought it from another house to this one so it's easy to break it down and put it in a new spot but I just wanted to go over a couple more things about these straps that I use to tie down the solar panel. This side, these straps are 48 inches and on the other side These are 24 inch straps and the 2x3 pieces of wood that I mounted the panel to are 13 inches. So it will give you an idea of what you need to buy if you want to do it yourself. So it looks pretty good to me. It's doing what it's supposed to be. And we're going to start getting some shade later in the day. It's 4, 4.45. It's just starting to creep up, but most of the day, this thing gets plenty of sun. And that's it. As I was picking up, I decided to show some different angles of that solar panel. If my wife doesn't notice it, perfect. But I don't think it's very... I don't know. It's not intrusive. It's just up there. I think it looks fine.
By the way, here's one of the reasons why I wanted to start mounting my solar panels. I used to just lay them in the ground, or lay them on the ground like this. And they get really hot, so that's burnt two patches of grass just in, you know, setting them out here for the afternoon. So now everything's mounted and you don't get in trouble for scorching the grass.